Hi, I'm Meredith, and this is my sidekick, Larry. Hey. You're watching Girls of the World, the show where you get to meet smart girls all around the globe. If you want to be my friend, I think that's cool. Tell me what you like and what you do. Girls of the World. Okay, Meredith, are you ready? Here's your clues. It's a country. It is located on the continent of Asia. Well, that's hard to say because there are about 50 countries on the continent of Asia, so I need a little bit more. This country has never invaded another country. So that means it's got to be a peaceful, non-violent country. And that makes me think of Gandhi. So Gandhi lived in India. Is it India? It's India. There's a lot of stuff to like about India. Such as the Taj Mahal. It's an architectural wonder. It took 22 years to build. Another great thing about India are the majestic Himalayas. And cows wander the streets because they're considered sacred. There's one thing I'm not so crazy about. Is that the Bengal tiger? Yeah, that's India's national animal, and I bet it really makes those cows nervous. Hello everyone, my name is Ashni Acharya, and today it is my privilege to be able to show you a small fraction of the city I live in, Mumbai. This area is called Apollo Bandar, and the one reason why it is so heavily populated is because it houses one of the most talked about monuments in the entire of India, the Gateway of India. One of my favorite Hindu customs is the one in which we bathe the idols of our deities and instead of soap, we use a paste made out of sandalwood. Once cleaned and dressed, we sing devotional songs or bhajans and ask for the gods and goddesses to shower us with their blessings. This dish is known as dosa. It is a very famous South Indian dish made of a paste which is made of white lentils, rice and salt. So what I have here basically right now is chai and it is a Indian tradition to greet your guests with a cup of chai. India has seven classical dances and numerous folk dances. This dance is called Veer dance or warrior dance. It is a traditional Indian folk dance performed usually with swords or sticks and occasionally even with nagadas. My friends and I do a lot together. School, dancing, painting, movies, parties, summer camps, pretty much everything. It was great fun showing you around my world and I do hope that one day you'll visit India. Bye! We just heard from Ashini in India and I think that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was. I mean, everyone in India really does have the tradition of bringing over people and just having a cup of chai with them. Well, so that's what people do? They invite people over to have chai? Yeah. Maybe we should invite a guest. We should. Uh, Chris, Chris the cameraman, come here. Come here, Chris. Uh oh, there's a guy in there's a guy in the fort. There's a guy in the fort. Chris, chai is as, is more popular in India than coffee is in the United States. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you want to hear Monica's quote of the day? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do that. Our wise woman from India said, you are not Atlas carrying the world on your shoulder. It is good to remember that the planet is carrying you. That's deep. I got nothing. Thanks for watching, y'all. The more we learn about each other, the smaller the world becomes, and maybe even a little better. Come back next week for another episode of Girls of the World, and please subscribe. If you want to be my friend, I think that's cool. Girls of the world.